for these examples, we are going to be determining a, a median. And the difference between a median and a mean is a median is a positional value as opposed to a mean, which is a calculated value. So I'm just going to write right up here. It's a positional value. When what does that mean? Well, that means that when we put the data in some sort of numerical order, a particular position within that order determines what the median is. And we determine that position by n plus 1 divided by 2. n is the size of the data set, the number size of the data set. If that data set is an odd number of data values, then the median is going to fall right on one of the listed uh, data values. If the data set is an even number, then the median is going to fall in between two of the data values that are listed. So the first thing we have to do is put the data in some sort of order, and it only seems natural to put it in ascending order. You could put it in descending order, but it seems only natural to put it in ascending order. So we'll do that first. So for letter A, we're going to take this data here, and we're going to list it in uh, ascending order. So here I have 65.6. That's the smallest data value. And then we just increase from there. 66.1. Then a 67.2, and then finally 72.2. So I just took this data and I listed it in ascending order. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data values. So the position that we're looking for, and this is an odd set of, set of uh, uh, values, so if I did 7, that's the number size of the data set, plus 1, divided by 2, that's going to be 8 divided by 2, so position 4. So the value, 1, 2, 3, that's the fourth position. So that data value is our median. And what the median does is it cuts the data set in half. 50% of the data values lie to its left, so you could see this way, and 50% of the data values lie to its right, so it cuts it right in half. So this is our median, 67.8. We'll do the same for letter B here. We'll go ahead and we'll put this data in numerical order. So I have 131, 147, 169, 184, and all I'm doing is just going from the lowest, the, the smallest to the largest in numerical order, 209, 214, 233, and finally 257. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight data values. So the position that we're looking for is going to be eight plus one divided by two. That's how we find our position. That's nine divided by two. That's 4.5. So we go one, two, three, four, and a half that falls right in between these two values here. So it's between the fourth and the fifth value, the fourth and the fifth value. What is that? Well, all we have to do is add those two values together and then divide by two. And that comes out to be 196.5. So the median value for this set of data is 196.5. And again, you can see 
that it cuts the data set right in half. Half of it lies to its left, and the other half lies to its right. For this example, we have Mr. England is an avid golfer. The following frequency distribution is his golf scores for random season on par 3 holes. So here is our frequency distribution here. You can see he scored a 3. He did that 3 times. He scored a 4, 35 times. He scored a 5, 23 times, and on and on. What is Mr. England's median score on a par 3 hole? So if you recall from this, this was an earlier problem except we were finding a mean. If you recall, we have 3, 35, 23, 12, 9, 6, and 2. There were 90 scores. We just tally up his frequency, it comes out to be 90. So the position that we're looking for is the 90 plus 1 divided by 2. That's 91 divided by 2. That's 45 and a half. So that's the 45 and a half position, or between the 45th and the 46th data value. This is an even number. It's going to fall right in between two of the numbers. So this is what it looks like. If I scored 3, or if Mr. England scored 3, three times, he would have a 3, and another 3, and another 3. If he scored a 4, 35 times, then he would have a 4, and a 4, and a 4, and this would continue for 35 times. Then he scored a 5, 23 times, then he would have a 5, and a 5, and a 5, and of course that would continue for 23 times. Well, he scored a 3, 3 times. He scored a 4, 35 times, or in other words, from here to here, that's 38 scores already. 3 plus 35 is 38. Add on another 23, then from here to here, 38 scores from 3 to all the way to the end of 4, 23 more. That's 61 scores. So the 45th and a half, or between the 45th and the 46th scores, has to occur within the fives here. So it falls in between two fives. Add the two fives together, divide by two. We have a median score of five.